Hello everybody out there in Facebook land. How you doing? Do you hear my kitten? <laughs> he likes to go crazy. <laughs> anyway, so if you hear my kitten, sorry about that. But listen, hey, I wanted to fill you all in on something that is going on in my life, in Tim's life, in our life, and um, I've waited a while to talk about it because I wanted to make sure that I had kind of my plan in place of, of what was going to go on. So, just to give you a little backstory, uh, let's see, Tim and I got married in 2010. Fantastic wedding. Good grief. We had an amazing wedding. Uh, we got married in 2010. And in 2011, we uh, decided that we wanted to start and try to have kids. Whoa, there's Pip. Say hey, Pip. Say hello. Pip's like, oh crap, am I on camera? Ah! <laughs> okay, so anyway. So in 2011, um, and some of y'all know this story. Like, we had uh, decided to have kids. We had decided before we got married that we wanted to, um, but we wanted to wait for a year after we got married and all that kind of stuff. So, I had downloaded a fertility app, and in that first month, uh, on the app, it had a little pink ribbon and everything, and it said, you know, check for cancer. And so, I was like, oh, well, I, you know, I should probably do that. And so, I did. And that's when I found my breast cancer. So that was in 2011. Um, with the breast cancer, uh, of course, we, you know, had to put off having any kind of kid, any kids at that point. Um, and then I went through, you know, my lumpectomy, chemotherapy, double mastectomy, reconstruction, and all that. Uh, and then we started that. Hey, Talitha. <laughs> Talitha says hi, Pip. Pip's being her usual self. Um, so, at that point, you know, we, um, my body had been through a lot. You know, when you go through cancer, you go through chemotherapy, and it really messes with your fertility. So, we um, tried for, you know, a while to have kids, and... Um, weren't able to. So, you know, I was talking to somebody today and I said, you know, when you, um, when you have cancer, one of the hardest things is when you find out, but you don't know anything yet. But once you get a plan in place, you just follow the plan. So Tim and I looked at, you know, our options and everything and what we needed to do. And so once you find out, hey, I'm not really, um, after cancer, my body is, uh, chemo really messes up your cycles and everything. So, hey, Laura, how you doing? <laughs> Sebastian says, hey, to Hey, Sarah. Um, I love y'all jumping on. Uh, so anyway, so we started looking at our options a while ago and uh, decided to go the IVF route to see um, if we were able to have children that way. So, we have, you know, I really didn't want to talk about it until I knew a little bit more and I was on a solid plan so that I would know how to, you know, talk to you all about it. But, um, so, you see me in all these doctor's appointments, and you see me in all these blood draws and all that kind of stuff. And that's really, you know, hey, Lisa. Hey, Missy. Hey, Anissa. I'm so glad y'all are on. Um, a lot of that, I've been in the doctors, you all. A lot. I've had more blood tests and more um, internal ultrasounds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, women, if you want to know what that's like, then, you know, I'll, sl I'll let you know now. It's not great. Uh, hey, Debbie. Hey, Nancy. Um, But, anyway, to tell you all what's going on, we're in the middle of an IVF cycle. 
So I have a fantastic doctor um, in Syracuse in New York. Hey, hey you all. <laughs> Sarah said, I think you're at the doctor as much as we have. Oh my gosh, I'm at the doctor all the time. Let me put it this way. Uh, this past week I've had two ultrasounds, two blood draws. So anyway, uh, so we are in the, we're in the middle of an IVF cycle. I have lots of medicine that I'm taking and more that I'm adding in the next few days. Um, I have more blood tests on Monday. Uh, we are trying to get a baby in there. <laughs> so we have been we've been working on it for ah I said that I was gonna put my makeup on because I've got an event and that way I wouldn't cry crap y'all make me cry all the time um so that's what we're doing <laughs> so we're trying to get a baby and I am I'm really hopeful in that and really excited and so I'll keep you all posted it's funny because I'm on social media a bunch and when you all see me not posting a whole ton you can know that something's going on that we're you know that we're talking about and planning that I can't actually talk about publicly yet but you know now that we um, I was like it's time it's time to tell everybody that we are in the middle of that and so I'm excited <laughs> and you know it's really challenging uh, I had to go through a whole lot just to even you know the whole struggle of infertility had, was crazy after cancer uh, so, um, and I just really want to, I want to give an encouragement to you all. If there's somebody out there that, um, has also struggled with infertility, um, just know that that's not your identity. Like, that's not who you are. You know, you struggle with infertility. You're not an infertile person. You struggle with infertility. And I just want to encourage you, you know, don't let that be your identity, but get a plan in place. You know, go to a doctor, get a plan in place. That's what we've done. We got a doctor, we got a plan in place. We're walking through the process right now. And it's been a fantastic process. Way more needles than I want. Ugh. But, you know, you do what you do. You know, our, we'd love to have a child through IVF and then adopt like four or five other kids. Like, I, like, I, have a ton of, I want a ton of kids. Do you know what I mean? It would be a blast. And so, anyway, you all have seen me kind of pop on and off my social media, but not really be as active. And it's because I haven't been in a spot where I could fill you in on a whole time that was going on. But now, I was like, I want to let y'all know, um, we're in the middle of a big old IVF cycle. So... Pray for us if you're a praying person. Um, send us great vibes if you're not. And I'll keep filling you all in because I know that there are a lot of women who may struggle with, um, with this issue. And I just want you to know that you're not alone in that. And you can always reach out to me. Also, um, I'm really feeling like if there's somebody out there that feels like they may be too old to have kids... Um, or you're single and you have always wanted to have kids uh, and you feel like you can't. Listen, I just want to say, go for it. Do you know what I mean? If it's your heart's desire to have kids, message me and I can hook you up. I've got great fertility doctors in three states <laughs> and I could find more. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like if you're in a different state, I could, fi I could find you somewhere, but I've got um, fertility doctors in Kentucky and Florida and New York. So, uh, just hit me up if you need any more information on that, but just wanted to let you all know what was going on. Um, I'm heading out to a fish fry, <laughs> the fantastic fish fry in Jacksonville. And so I will, um, I'll be showing y'all the fish fry tonight. But just wanted to fill you guys in. That's what's happening. Um, 
if you know somebody that is struggling in the area of infertility, you can tag them or <laughs> I mean, they may not want you to tag them in the post, but you can um, hook us up through, uh, through Messenger if you want to. And I'm going to, I have to walk out the door right now because I have to get to an event that um, is about an hour and a half away. And I just want to tell y'all I love you guys. If you need anything, let me know. Um, be praying for us and I uh, will talk to y'all soon. Now I can, now I can give you all some more details and stuff like that. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.